everybody, it's Peony Prashanta here from the Yamogi House. Today I'm going to make for you a dish called Doria. And I always thought Doria was Japanese, but it had nothing to do with Japan. But I I learned about Doria while I was living in Japan. Um, it was a, It's actually a rice butter based dish. Rice, but I'm going to use potatoes since I got a whole bunch of potatoes from the, the youth farm last week. And typically you can add seafood to it or some meat and... Um, I'm going to just do, do potatoes and carrots and keep it simple. And you know, like I said, I always thought it was Japanese, but it's actually, it is Italian. And somebody made it in France and was brought to Japan and was cooked by a Swiss chef as a French cuisine. That is just too crazy. So I'm going to make my own version of it. And so here we go. I got a potato and I got a carrot. And, and remember, um, uh, I forgot what I was going to tell you, remember, anyway. Okay, so, old age, to the, um, oh, I remember what I was going to remember too. Doria is made with vegetables with a, a creamy, a creamy, um, a creamy sauce, cream sauce. Typically it's milk, but we're not going to use milk. And I'm going to make my own white sauce with uh, brown rice flour and nutritional yeast. This goes really good on vegan mac and cheese as well too. So I have brown rice flour. Keep it in the jar. Make sure you label it. And nutritional yeast. And to this I will add ginger powder. Just a teeny bit. In case you, you know, if you're going to make this for children, you don't want to, you don't want to have it too gingery and hot because they will protest. And some turmeric powder, and not too much because if you put too much turmeric, it gets bitter. Just want to have it a little bit yellow, make it look like it's got cheese in it, cheddar cheese. So, let's see. Oh yeah, and then you can add herbs to it, and and some other um, like salt. Of course, you got to have salt. You can add Italian herbs because it's uh it's actually Italian. So you can add some Italian spices, powdered up however you want it. All right, to this we're going to add some water or some broth and mix it up really well. And set it aside and let it kind of merge. Okay. While that's just sitting there, let me explain to you a little bit about the mandolin is very, very dangerous to use without one of these. Make sure you use this because I cut my finger like one time really bad. I had to go to the emergency room and have it glued on. Oh, I just told you to use this. Okay, so here we go. We're going to use this and you're going to slice. And this is really nice to have because when you, have, when you, want, when you cook, when you make doria, you want the potatoes to look all even and it also helps with with um, cooking so it'll cook even okay then when you have a little bit this much left you just throw it in your soup stock pot okay and let that soak it in some salty water and let that soak for a little while and get all the starches out and you also want to work on your carrots now this obviously isn't going to work on here so you have to be very careful and do the do the uh, the the skinnier side first, and then you'll you'll end up with this part. You can put that in your soup stock. But be very careful and make sure you pay attention while you're doing this because <laughs> you don't want to cut your skin off. Like I said, I went to the emergency room and they put crazy glue on it and glued me back together. While I worked as a nurse once, a long time ago in the emergency room, we used to have bagel accidents where people would just like slice, slice their hands. Now they have, um, now they actually have a, a bagel holder and you put your knife in there and you slice it. Okay, so here we go. Very easy to make. You can layer your pot here with, um, oh, let's turn the oven on. Where's the start button? Bake start. I do not use my oven in the spring and summer because it's too hot. 
Okay, and then add the uh, potatoes that you have soaking in here. And you can add broccoli to this, green peas, green beans, bell peppers, anything that you got um, that's seasonal, wherever you live. This is kind of like a scalloped potato. Only thing, like I said, you're supposed to make this with rice. That's why it's called doria. So this could be a a peony version of scalloped potato slash do, do, doria, doria. Okay, and then after this is, where did my cream go? Oh, after this is all um, nice and, you know, layered, you can put your sauce in there like that. And because there's flour in there, when you put it in the oven, this is just too easy, when you put it in the oven, it's going to thicken up. So in it goes. All right, and I already have some made. See. And to this, to, to the one I made earlier, I, I put um, onions and green, uh, green beans and you can add cheese to this if you want, or keep it vegan. Mm. Good. Mm. That is so good. Look at this. You see the green beans? And then the carrots? Just right. Look how soft they are. Mm. I just love mushy food. Thanks for watching. Share my video. And know that you can uh, you can get this in my cookbook um, available right now at Kevin's Craft on Seventh and Shonelton and Lincoln. And uh, I will actually put in a page of um, the vegan version um, if you like. And know that you can make this any way you want it. It's called Doria. D O R I A. Look it up. And um, once again. Thank you so much for watching and putting up with my unedited videos. It's just natural. Bye.